Today on the Genius Brewing Channel, we are going to be testing a side-by-side-by-side -side -by -side with Bonanza, Sundew, and Kaiser. So two Omega strains that have been uh, phenol clips, basically. They use the CRISPR-Cas9 mm -hmm. system to take out the gene that produces um, uh, four vinyl guaiacol, which is the clove phenol, uh, to create a fun new kind of flavor profile. And yeah. we're going to be seeing if we can tell the difference between uh, three different blondes made the exact same way, but with different yeasts. The Sundew is supposed to be a uh, Belgian yeast that has the phenol uh, producer clipped off, while the Bonanza is supposed to be a German Hefeweizen that has that clipped off. So Ryan from, uh, from off camera, why don't you give us kind of a rundown on what we've got going on here? So basically without them watching, I randomized which ones went into which cups at random quantities. So some cups might have the same beer, some cups might have different ones, but there is one of each beer in that selection. So we have five beers in front of us. Uh, we have at least one of each beer, but there are five total beers. And so we have to be able to, first of all, determine which beers are different versus which beers are the same. And second of all, uh, try to figure out which one's which and see if we can really pick out the flavors that are supposed to come from the Bonanza being a big banana flavor, the Sundew being that big strawberry melon flavor, and the Kaiser, which we should know all too well, being a relatively neutral German ale strain, which is subtle esterification. They all look the same color, which is nice. It means we did not randomly oxidize one of the batches. There is a little bit different of carbonations. They were carbonated in kegs, so those are slightly off, but fortunately, both Peter and I did not carbonate these, so we can't use that to judge these beers. I can also tell that there's a subtle dis difference in clarity, uh, which we might be able to use as a context clear to figure out which one might be higher or lower flocculating, but the only way to really tell if we can figure out the difference is to dive in. Okay. I think I've got these sorted, and uh, I have to say these were a lot closer in flavor than I thought they would be. Uh, I think a big reason that is what you did ferment all these on the colder side because of current conditions right now. Number one, uh, number one, actually for me, I think this is one of the most pleasant. I've really enjoyed this. Uh, I am going uh, with the uh, Sunday. That's exactly what I was going to say. So number one, yeah. uh, I get a little bit of toasted grain notes to it, as well as some subtle berry kind of vibes behind uh, how the yeast produced this one, I think that number one is also sundew. There's definitely small bits of berryness in there that probably with that warmer fermentation would have really Expressed popped juicy. And popped out. Yeah, for sure. This needs to be in a juicy IPA. I mean, like oh, for sure. juicy IPA, 75, maybe an 80 degree fermentation temperature. This thing is just gonna be strawberry fields forever. As it stands right now, it's relatively neutral and just a subtle graham cracker flavor. And mm. there's only a small perception of like maybe a little bit of melon and strawberry right. flavor on top of it. So I think number two is Bonanza. 100% this is Bonanza. It tastes like Hefeweizen. I got that on the smell, like one of the first things when I, touched, when I tasted number two, separating that from number one, I was like, this is banana flavor, banana bomb. I get, I so amyl acetate all day. Even though there's not any wheat in this, it's really emphasizing bready malts. Number three, what do you think number three is? Three is Kaiser. It's 100% Kaiser. It just is. It is what Kaiser is. Kaiser is a beautiful, light German ale strain that is stupid clean with just little tiny bits of expressiveness and a little bit of fruitiness. Yeah, it's got that classic German lager flavor, maybe, uh, or German ale flavor, just a subtle hint of, uh, uh, esterification but not a lot mm -hmm. and uh overall it's just it's, it's relatively clean it's neutral it supports the beer but it doesn't uh doesn't go beyond that again all these fermented cold so it's gonna be more neutral than if it was fermented warm but this is just a, a clean drinking yeah. what you want a blonde to be number four what do you think number four is number four all right let me come back i was confident and then we started drinking other ones <laughs> that shoot give me another taste four i think is going back to the bonanza i agree but for whatever reason number four was harder for me to pick out could be the uh, selection Bonanza. of beer, the fact that we've already drank, but four I think is Bonanza as well. Could pick it out as easily, but I do think that that has that same isoamyl acetate flavor. Um, and number five I think is Sundew. So five is Sundew. I had them picked out the other way first when we were just sniffing, where four was gonna mm -hmm. be Sundew and five was gonna be Bonanza, but four did start to taste a little bit more meaty and uh, five tasted a little bit more fruity. I feel like there's a chance that these three are all Bonanza, or sorry, it's all Sundew, this is Bonanza and this is Kaiser. You you might be right on that. Yeah, I, the, the flavor on the retract. Bonanza, the flavor on the Bonanza is just so, it's so soft. It's so like that that nice fruitiness. I feel like these three are Sundew, and this one is Kaiser, and this one is and so I think one is one, four and five are Sundew, two is Bonanza, three is Kaiser. 
Final answer. One in four, definitely sundew. I'm at least 85% sure on five will be sundew. I don't know why it got harder as we went along. It, it got did. harder. It like, did. They got more close. All right, well, Ryan, how'd we do? You guys are idiots. You had it right the first time, and then you psyched yourself out and changed your Damn answers. it! <laughs> ah, so four is... So four is bonanza. Is bonanza. Damn and it. five four is... Four bonanza. One in five are sundew. We had it right the first time. Ah, like Ryan said off camera, we had it, your first answer you should always go with. We had it right the first time. But these are subtle, subtle beers with the way that they are right now. It takes a lot of focus even just to get the differences between these beers and these beers. And so that's why that happened at the end. Thanks for watching. If you guys like this experiment, if you guys are curious about these yeasts, feel free to uh, leave a comment below. We will answer most of them if we can. Um, these yeasts that are done by Omega are genetically edited yeasts. They use the CRISPR-Cas9 system to take out the gene that uh, produces four vinyl guaiacol, which is that clove producing kind of yeast. And so it expresses a lot of the esterification, the banana from the fine Stefan strain, the strawberry and melon from the Belgian strain. In basic terms, they go snippy snippy on the clove gene and you just get the you know base flavors coming out of it i feel like you just said that they have uh, vasectomy the clove gene thanks so yeah. much for watching like subscribe comment uh follow us on all the other social medias facebook instagram all that and we'll see you on the next episode every single sunday we do a live stream 8 45 pacific standard time in the morning watch it